All right, Aaron. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. All right. Um, I. What did you think of the game? Thought I knew who the Jedi Survivor was. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it kept changing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did so. What was your? Hang on. Okay. <laughs> your biggest surprise of it? I have a lot of surprises. One of my, I'll talk about my first surprise. My first surprise is uh, like big surprise because the whole yeah. thing was full of surprises. Yeah. I know my first surprise, which is probably my biggest surprise of the game. All right, we'll say it on three. One, two, three. Cordova. Cordova's alive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, nothing necessarily said he was nothing. dead, except that he's coded as a dead character. But I was like, he says goodbye in hollow form to his droid, and um, I remember be, like being like crying, like sad, like, "Oh, Cordova, you're dead." Like and he's the, not, the, the, and then he did. Uh, yeah, that was. I mean, I was. Uh, I didn't. I also. I guess I didn't think that that would happen because uh, no. I was like, "Well, there's no way you bring him back." Yeah, <laughs> but I was like, I was positive he was dead. And then like there was a there's a I scene know. where like it starts at like boots, right? Yeah, and it scrolls up, and I'm like, "Oh, who's this guy?" I'm I was like, like, "Oh, Sierra." The heck is he here yeah. for? I thought he was dead. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. That was such a sweet moment. Oh yeah, and I mean sweet. Like, oh man, we get a bitter talk to this guy. maybe, but it was uh, it was awesome. I was so happy. Yeah, yeah. No, that was bigger than like uh, like uh, Bowden was a thing where I'm like, uh, he talked about a kid. Uh, it makes me a little worried. And I'm sure it's fine. But I like, but I could maybe am. see things coming. But like I did not expect him. Like if you told me like. Hey, what do you think is going to happen in the second game? Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have been like, oh, Cordova's alive. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, like, not at all. Man, I love Bode so much. Yeah, dude, Bode. So much. Bode is a really good and tragic character in that. Man, it's- last night when we got to the end and Kata was singing her song. I was like, oh. damn, that's sad. Yeah, and the, then the star I had song. The, and then I had the fight with Bode and all that stuff. And then I'm leaving and I find a force a new force uh, oh, memory. Oh, force echoes. And then it's Bode and her singing the song. And yeah. I'm like, oh, man. And then I got out to his headhunter, and then I found another one, and I clicked it, and it's Bode singing, but he changes the last line to say the name of his wife. And they talk about how when she died, he changed. Yeah. And it's so sad, and it's, it's such a powerful story yeah. to make that your secret bad guy. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Because you think the one guy's gonna be yeah. the bad guy, right? I know. <laughs> I know. Dagon. But Dagon. I mean, yeah. Look, ten out of ten for everything that happened in the game. I, I absolutely love the storyline. Yeah, I did but too. I was crushed many times in the oh, storyline. Yeah. No, the story's really good. Mm-hmm. Characters are really good. Um, yeah. Z. Uh, Z. Like so, I, I had honestly <laughs> the High Republic. <laughs> you yeah. know, like I was like, Z, what? But like when I say like surprise wise, like uh-huh. those were surprising. Yeah. Like oh, this guy's still alive in yeah. a pod, and there's a droid from the yeah. High Republic and stuff, and like, I guess it was all good. Mm-hmm. But I can also kind of in a way expect that, given that we have High Republic stuff, right? Yeah. But I was positive that guy was dead. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, but no, uh, uh, no, having Z there and getting High Republic like visions. Yeah. Right. The and night, like seeing the Nihil for a second. Yeah, that, <laughs> that showed cool. up. They mentioned they mentioned the Nihil at they one do. point. I forget. Yeah. I think it was in like one of the maybe documents or whatever that you the read or whatever. Data stuff, yeah. Um, data bank. They also had a uh, shoot. What's his name? Uh, the snake guy. Apo Rancis. Yeah, Rancius. Rancius. Yeah, yeah. He, like he's mentioned. Well, in he it was. And stuff. Yeah, he was on the the Republic or the Jedi Council. Yeah, for a very long. time. But like, yeah. But I'm like, mm-hmm. oh man, that's that's so cool. Yeah. So like, there's just there's connections to all kinds of different elements. Yeah. And I was like, this is cool to see High Republic stuff. Have like a couple names that I can kind of recognize. Yeah. Um, I have so many highs of this game. Yeah. Like the the Trident droid like attacking Jedha Temple, and. Uh, Dude. Like Marin, like you know, using her like teleportation magic to get dude. you the hell out of the, the ter- teleportation. Oh, segment is dude, so cool. that was so cool. I, I love that a lot. Yeah. I also love um, when you're a seer, de- like defending and everything. Yeah, like the uh. the the segment of that is is crazy and sad and everything. But the way they implement it was so mm-hmm. good. And like, there's yeah. there's the element of like when uh, like the fighting Darth Vader is so cool to have. Yeah. But then when she almost wins, but know, doesn't, doesn't, and then she's like there in uh, Cal's arms, and it's been like a force echo that you've been like watching, right? Like that was such a cool moment to have. Like, oh, it's I just know. done really well. I, I love her last word is Trilla. Yeah. Ugh. 
It's good stuff. No, I mean, I had no idea that we were going to have Vader again, but mm. the way it worked, it was just flawless from in its execution because the camera comes down, you see Seer, and then you realize, wait, I'm orienting as if I'm playing, and then you're playing. And then as you're playing, you're slowly realizing there's only one reason that I'm playing Seer, and it's because Seer is going to, like, not going to be able to continue. That's what I felt. And then the dread just mounted and mounted and mounted until... And I kept yeah. thinking, like, they had to have brought some Inquisitors with them or something. Yeah. Well, because if you have yeah. Cal fight Vader, you know, it's like, well, what? You can't win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know Vader has to be around, mm-hmm. so. But uh, the, the element of Seer fighting and stuff, and, like, it's, like, so close yeah. to her winning and stuff. Like, it, he did not walk and, away unscathed, and it was such yeah. a good fight. And I'm glad it wasn't just, like, he just destroyed her and left, yeah. you know? And I'm going to say this. Maybe this is controversial. I'm not sure. But I think some of the best Vader choreography that has ever been done. In some of the cut scenes with Seer, yeah, I don't th- think it's ever been really better. Really, yeah, I don't remember it really right now. Yeah, but I, check out some of the cut scenes, man, because like watch it again. They nail you know Vader's you know center focus style, but I don't know. I, I I just thought it was really fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I need to play again. I just I, I was in chat with you, well, not with you, you, but like with people for uh, your stream last night, gotcha. and uh, someone was saying about uh, New Game Plus. I'm like, man, I haven't played with new game yeah. plus so i might have to play there's again a new and... game plus uh or they said something where like every time you die it completely randomizes your appearance oh really oh, that was kind of cool <laughs> there's a lot of appearances like, and stuff yeah too. but like there's like a setting you can do with that dude i was i don't know if chat has any idea about this but i was so mad because it was one day that i like went on to uh the playstation mm-hmm. and i removed your poncho <laughs> and i changed your beard and hairstyle and stuff yeah. and then just left it yeah, and I was like, oh man, I mean, I watched the beginning and uh-huh. see him be like, and then like, I I was there for the beginning, and you just came on, you're like, hey guys, here we go, we're yep. gonna play the game. And you start going, I'm like, well, damn it, what? No, nothing's changed. <laughs> like, you, you didn't say like, where's my stuff? Well, what happened was is so often before I'm starting a stream or I have the countdown, I'm like, you know, I'm getting my setup ready, I'm getting my drink ready, I'm taking my shoes off, and I'll have the game up, and I'm like, all right, do I? What am I going to wear today? I, I I do that. When I played Tears of the Kingdom, I did the same thing. What is Link wearing today? I changed my outfit up a little bit. I got to, you know. So when I did that and opened it up, I just, in my head, I didn't even think about it. I just assumed that I'm a bad gamer and I hit the wrong button at some point. The last time oh, I Oh, dang, this. I messed up my beard. So I just fixed it real quick. Didn't even think about it. It wasn't even a, an iota on my brain that you had messed with me. Yeah. So I don't know if that's good for me or bad for you but yeah. it ultimately ended in nothing it was surely after you got your your uh poncho like, i'm getting rid of this poncho uh-huh. like, good he's wearing it i'm gonna make him wear this one <laughs> i don't always wear the poncho yeah. didn't care like dang it and yeah. then like i thought at least like i'll change the beard too he'll yeah. surely notice the beard's gone yeah but nope then it was all there and you didn't say because well, sometimes dang. my beard would just be gone <laughs> that was like one of the <laughs> consistent glitches where I'd be looking at Cal and he has like no must- no mustache and just a beard. I'm like, ah! yeah. And the beard's like floating over here. I, I had a couple of still glitches in the game. Gotcha. Uh, nothing like game breaking or anything. I had heard some people had like a glitch where they just couldn't finish the bounty hunts. Yeah. That and, was the big worry of yeah. mine was that people were like, oh, there's a glitch where you yeah. can't do all the bounty hunts. I'm like, what? No. I had a glitch where I couldn't select the third line in the bounty hunt screen. Oh, okay. Which was really strange. That's weird, yeah. Yeah. Man, it would have sucked not to be able to finish the bounties, too. Because uh-huh. the end was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I had a hard time with Cage. Yeah? It was pro- Cage, other than like the you know the Ogdos and some of the other big creatures that are hard to anticipate, yeah. Like I had probably the hardest time with Cage. When I'm fighting like lightsaber wielders, it's just it feels a lot easier for me just because like I'm really paying attention to their shoulders and their feet and stuff. And mm. you can, you do that, you can kind of anticipate when to start blocking, you mm. know? But some of the creatures in a cage was nuts with her moveset. Just, just flying around, yeah. throwing like, grenades. She throw a grenade and it blows up, like, in your face immediately, yeah. you know? So no, I, I was fight. really tested with cage. I think it took me, like, it probably took me 10, 12 tries to beat her. Yeah. Yeah. I think the f- first time I had to fight, um, I, I don't know what all you've done because it's a side boss. First time I had to yeah. do this one boss, like I like I'm not going back. I'm fighting it here, okay. and it probably took me like 50 tries. Okay, on like one boss. But I sure. I also played. You played on uh, Knight, right? I played on Master. I right, think. I played Jedi. I think Knight. I played on Master. Yeah. Every game I play, especially the first time, I play normal. Mm. I don't. I never go easy, but I never go hard either. Because once I start being like, oh, I can do, I can do hard, and then I'm not having a good time. Gotcha. <laughs> but 
But there the, were a couple of times where I'm like, this boss probably should have been easier for me, and this boss should have been harder for me. Yeah. So maybe I could have done like some like kind of like dynamic thing, but sure. I just remove all that from myself. I I I, I have nothing to prove <laughs> and everything to lose, so I just do normal. <laughs> But the uh, the end is really cool. You fight Cage, and then yeah. there's like bounty on Cage's head, I know. which needs to be claimed. Uh, yeah, I mean Cage gets sh- shot. Yeah, like I just had no idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's surprising, isn't it's it? It's so surprising. Like Boba comes down on yeah. his, like with his jetpack, right? Uh-huh. I think it's been a while since I've seen it. But yeah, he, he like, came on the jetpack. He like comes I saw down his... and you're like, <gasps> yeah, like <laughs> only this guy wears those pants. Yeah, right. You're like, oh my gosh. Yeah. No. That is background extra pants that we now have to have in this design. Yeah, <laughs> and it was uh, it was uh, Tamir Morrison, right? I believe that did the voice for him too. Yeah, it was one hundred percent great. Yep, I was like, oh, it's so yep. cool. Uh, I guess I maybe there's a slight disappointment in that when Ravis first came in. Oh, the Gendai. Yeah, and well, <laughs> so Ravis shows up, and I'm like, wow, and he has this kind of like uh, it's outside the saloon, right? Yeah. And you fight yeah. like one of his Bedlam Raiders, and then yeah. he's like, uh, and he kind of has almost like a respectful exit from there. I'm like, that's interesting. I wonder what that. He's probably gonna be a you know a good a good dude at a certain point. <laughs> and then like his data bank showed up, so I I always read the data bank. I clicked it, and it said Ravis the Gendai, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> so I preface that by saying. I thought he was going to last in the story a little bit longer. Oh, okay. He kind of, for me, at the very least, he kind of came and went. Like, once I got to the boss battle, I'm like, oh, my God, there's so many things you could do with this character. And they did some stuff, but maybe it's because I was Jedi Knight difficulty. Hmm. And I, he, you know, he, he, it seemed like an easy fight for me. And that was a disappointment. Oh, you beat him pretty easily? I beat him pretty easily. I don't think I ever... I think I took two tries to beat him. I think most fights, were for me, were somewhat difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Uh, his fight was fun. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah, Dagon fight. Also, was a Dagon. Lot of fun. Yeah, I was gonna say because he does that mind stuff with yeah. you. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but no. Uh, that's another thing too. Is like I don't. I didn't realize he was a Gendai mm-hmm. until like reading that. So yeah, like, yeah, I, me, yeah, part of me like I and I read I think like every mm-hmm. data bank thing too. But the uh, I think it might have also been cool to if I would have not had that pop up or I wouldn't have read it. I wonder when I would have realized, realized. what he was. Because I never saw Dirge's face. I don't know what Gendai looked like. Yeah, right? But like when he starts shooting his warmy mm-hmm. arms at you and stuff, right? And <laughs> doing yeah. the things he does. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, what is this? Yeah. But I started kind of expecting it after watching the, the micro series too. Yeah, I just, I love, cool. I love how dynamic the everything was. Like the mm-hmm. village that you're in, like oh, turning it into a town. And you, every time I would come and visit, I would talk with everybody. Everyone in the saloon, right? Yeah, it'd take me a half hour, but yep. I love it. Yep. I just love how detailed and all that stuff was. I mean, you I know get your that DJ I, going. I know probably a lot of people kind of got the game solid in their mind because of glitches and yeah. its opening was not great and all that stuff. So I'm satisfied and happy that I waited so long. Maybe <laughs> sure, no, I get what you mean. <laughs> that didn't happen to me because Calvin, if he started, yeah, he'd break the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does usually. Yeah. Uh, we also got a chance to go to Jeddah, which was really cool. Yeah, very um, cool. And seeing the uh, thing, what they called anchorites. The anchorites, Is that right? Uh-huh. Um, and like they're like rebuilding of the library. Yeah, I'm like, it's, oh, yeah that's it's so, so cool, cool to see like the images, of the Jedi archive there, and uh, the hidden path, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that's from Obi Wan Kenobi, which apparently like those came out really close together. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Um, no, I'm I'm hoping like there's gonna be a lot more connections between that kind of stuff agreed. too. But also like we we go to Tantalor, which has connections in the High Republic that they're finding, but it's yep. hard to get to. It is, and I'm like, I wonder like now that we get here, what kind of future this could be too and like i mean it could, could be completely you, isolation could the path lead here yeah. to save people that maybe still exist yeah. later into the the series and the mm-hmm. franchise you know like there's just a lot of options with that idea yeah you i know? mean it Cal could, could show up after episode six because he's been hiding off in tantalor you know he could he could join join ray's new jedi order yeah he maybe he'd be a much older yeah, yeah. <laughs> much older than uh You'd be close Dude, to Ahsoka's age. Cal's right? another person you could put in between episodes three and four, like I was talking about with like Glover and mm-hmm. you know doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, but 
Uh, I love Cal. Yeah. Uh, his story, I mean, the, the darkness in, in him here. Dude. Yeah. That, okay, so yeah. b- a, long, a long time ago, we talked about our favorite, not a long time ago, it was like three months ago, we talked about yeah. our favorite moments of the year. Yeah, of And like, one of my favorite was a moment from Survivor, but okay. I couldn't talk about it because you hadn't played the dang well, game. Well, now you can talk but about it. I love the moment, like you, uh, Bode has betrayed you, right? Yeah. And it's, oh, damn, I hate this. And uh, you go and you like get to that. Uh, like asteroid moon yep. whatever place right mm-hmm. the the imperial like facility that you go to mm-hmm. um the moment of like going and you meet bode there and then you got to chase him and you unleash your dark side yeah. energy thing it was such a cool moment and you're like just crushing yeah. like droids and stuff and you're that- so strong and you're starting to take things out like in one hit and you start feeling overconfident and when you don't have it you start playing dumb and you start like <laughs> being a little too overconfident and you die yeah and i think that is so on point for a dark sider <laughs> sure yeah your your uh overconfidence is your weakness right? exactly <laughs> it's exactly that but, but no yeah. I, I mean I, I there's so many things that i loved in the story and stuff yeah. but that as far as like a gaming experience moment yeah. was so cool it's just cow has lost so much he gives people chances mm. and they keep disappointing him yeah. You know, I mean, he like, gets Bode a chance at the end, right? So many like, chances. Like, he thinks about the daughter and stuff, and is like, let's try to get him to surrender. I mean, Bode just got... Bode, he, oh, man. Like, he... Bode had broken away. Cal hadn't at had, that point. Yeah, yeah. But I think Cal has. I think he has broken a bit. And I love that scene at the end with the three pyres and... Yeah. And, like, the the time The time lapse one. They do. Where he's, Cal's like, just, just standing there, there not yeah. moving. Yeah. And that see, and that one, I think, teared me up. Seer just, walks out like after everybody's already gone and stuff. It's so good, but yeah. like it does make you kind of fear. Like, you know, Cal decides, hey, we cannot rebuild the Jedi Order. We're going to put targets on these kids' backs. Like, I've seen it. They're going to all die. I can't be responsible for them. And now, after losing so much, he's now responsible for a young, what I'm going to assume might be a Force-sensitive Little girl. I mean, it's very possible, yeah. And now, like, you know, I mean, that's the whole thing, right? Bode kept saying, like, are you going to keep her safe from the Empire? That's exactly what Cal said he couldn't do <clears throat> in mm-hmm. the first game. Mm-hmm. And now he has to do it while being forever will it dominate your destiny. Like, you, once you start touching that dark path, it gets easier and easier and easier. And now he's going to be a mentor. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Bode's story with that is just so sad and like it's i understand yeah. i understand elements of it too like mm-hmm. i understand him and i also hate him for his decisions yeah. with it too like too. he has that one line um i don't remember exactly what it is he has some kind of line where he's like it's it's on- only i can decide what's good for my daughter kind of thing and he he refuses to even listen to her yeah I and I, That's I, the thing. I i hate it so much but also yeah. like i kind of understand because he's he's scared for her He's lost his wife, you know, mm-hmm. like there's been a lot of tragedy in his own life. Yeah. And he's been doing so much to try to protect his daughter that he gets blinded by protecting his daughter, too. And I understand I mean, it. He does what it. Anakin does. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Yeah. He loves her so much that he becomes a she becomes a possession. Yeah. And Seer, you know, that final line when she comes in, like Nexus says it, like guide her through the darkness. Like, she waits after all of that time during the funeral to not say, hey, Cal, here's what here's what you can do for you. It's here's what you can do for the next generation, yeah. which Seer did for Cal, which Jaro did for Cal, and he's got to do it for another. And it's great stuff. Yeah. yeah. Dude, imagine being, like, in a way, like, you have a dad who's a Jedi and a yeah. mom who's a <laughs> night witch. <Yeah. laughs> Dude. Oh. Dude Marin Marin and, is and so cool in this game, right? Marin... Is so cool in this game, it makes me hate that book more. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got to go through that to get to this. Eric. I know, I know, I know. You know? But, like, I love you Marin get Marin so game. late in, like, the first game uh-huh. that I'm glad that you get so much more with yeah. her in this game. I just love how much she can challenge Cal, and it comes from a place of love, not yeah. from a place of, like, uh, aggression. Yeah. But it's still a challenge. Yeah. You know? It's so cool. <sighs> like, it's just so... I, I mean, the, the the there's some cool, and I don't think they get to use it enough in the game, mm-hmm. really. But the dynamics of fighting with a partner, yeah. like you get you get Marin sometimes, you get Bode sometimes. Yes, yeah. but it's I feel like it's not there a lot. Like it's not a lot. A lot I certainly needed to use it more than I did. Though I will say that actually is a thing that worked for me that I thought wasn't going to, because I kept thinking in my head I was like, should Bode be this good against these opponents? 
Like, he's helping with Dagon, right? He's there at the Dagon fight, and yeah. he's in there, like, with it. I kept thinking, like, man, I don't know if he should be this good. Maybe the game's, like, you know, n- not doing the power scaling as much. Mm. But it turns out, when it actually happens and it turns, I'm how, going, like... How shocked were you with the, the <laughs> lightsaber pulling out? Because, like, it's like, oh, he betrayed us. I knew this right. was going to come. Was I, he talked about his push. daughter and stuff. Yeah, the Force push. That's what it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and, that, again, Jedi Survivor. Who sure. are we talking about? Is yeah. it Cal? Is it Cordova? Is it Seer? Yeah. Is it Bode? Is it Trilla? Is it Trilla? Is it Kata? Is it Z? <laughs> yeah. No. Is it a lot of things, but... No. I mean, in Fallen Order and stuff, too, like, just just all of them. Like, there's so much in this of, yeah. like, here's all these Jedis who have survived, mm-hmm. and they're trying to, like, yeah. move on, but all of them do it in different ways, right? Yeah. Trilla joins the Inquisitors. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe not, not by choice, but yeah. yeah, that's where she... And she survives because of it, right? Yeah. Bode does what he does in hiding, but then working for the Imperial that he used to work with during the Clone Wars, the Clone I believe, War, right? Yep. Like, all of them start taking these different routes, mm-hmm. and they're all surviving. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, I don't know. It, it's it's a really good story. Yeah. I'm excited for the next game. And what, what do you they, think the next game is called? We were talking about this last night. I gave you mine. You gave me mine? You- I can give you mine. Oh. I came up because, like, it seems like Cal's going to be forced into that mentor relationship. Star Wars Jedi Master. <laughs> Jedi Master. Because Cal has become a Jedi Master at that point, right? If he's teaching the sure, next generation. Yeah. I thought that'd be I kind mean, of fun. You could also just call it Jedi Knight. You could. You know? It's taken. Is it? By, yeah. Dark uh, Forces. Ka- Kyle. Kyle Katarn. Uh, Dark Forces, I think, was it yesterday that had uh, its new, not new, but uh, re-release? Oh, did it? I think so. Um, I, I need to, I want to play Battlefront 2. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's a good name for a Jedi. It's got to be Jedi, right? That's the thing. It's the Jedi series. Yeah, Star right? Wars Jedi colon is what it's been so far. So Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and then oh, Star Wars Jedi. Jedi Survivor. I mean, what what I would love to have it be is Star Wars Jedi The Path. The Path? That would be pretty good. Because, like, I think you could have different meanings, yeah. but also, like, they talk about the path. I'd love to get mm. more information on that, you know? Yeah. Like, Quinlan, where, where yeah. is he at? Is he, does he, is you know, does he end up, with Cal, mm-hmm. like where does that path lead? And yeah. I think Tantalor is a great place for the path to go, yeah. but okay. like it could also be like what's Cal's path or what's anybody's mm-hmm. path, right? Yeah, like that might be a cool name. Uh, I w- we would be remiss not also not to mention some of the just fantastic side characters that this had. Oh. I mean, I loved like almost every new alien design that we got, but I sure. especially want to shout out Turgle. Turgle, okay, yeah, and Scuba, Scuba Steve, yeah, Scuba, <laughs> Scuba Stev was uh, was great, and I love. Did you finish all the stories? Uh, no, no, not yet. Did he? Man, I've gotten There's... to when Captain Wet, uh, <clears throat> like they betrayed him and they marooned him and they find him again. Have you met him a lot? Yeah. Okay, so you've probably uh, there's a point at some point where like he doesn't name them, but he kind of mentions like Pergil. Oh, a hundred percent. Okay, yeah, we have got that. Okay. Like, yeah, the space whale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh man, no, I, I, I love little Pergo mention yeah. and stuff. Too. I, uh, I, I love just any time you just in the distance, like it's Scuba. Yeah, right. Uh, and then every time he's like, that to be the rest of my story at a later time. Yeah. No, no, no. His story is great, and it's one of those things too. It's like I'm sure there's some truth, but is it all truth? You know, yeah. like it's like that fisherman tale, mm-hmm. right? How big was the fish? You know, like <laughs> sure. It, I feel like a lot of his stories are kind of like that yeah. too, where I'm like, can I believe everything he's saying? But it's a fun story either way, mm-hmm. and I I enjoyed listening. Like yeah. I, I, I gotta listen. Sorry guys, I'm listening. Yeah, and I mean, I think it goes without saying, but just the voice cast just brought it. Every single one of them. Sure. The Gre- uh, grease, you know, like yeah. just uh, there's so much emotion, Dude, especially in his after voice. Jetta. You know, yeah. like he, j- his mood is just yeah. different afterwards, you know? know? Um, no, there's, uh, I like th- that. I liked, uh, I like Cage. Yeah. Right. I love Cage. Um, there's, uh, I don't remember their name. There was a, a couple. They weren't a couple, couple. There was a couple too. There's, um, yeah, the Claude and the one bearded guy <laughs> that like are, are a couple that yeah. like are beside the cantina. Those guys are a couple. Well, yeah, there's them too. <laughs> no, no it, you inside mean the, uh, there's like this. There's yeah. this guy and this girl, uh-huh. right? And uh, I don't know. Do you, what do you know about them? <laughs> guy and a girl. I'm trying yeah, to remember. I think he's an older guy. I can't remember what it is, yeah. man. Ah, oh. no, not Mosey. Uh, I can't. I remember like Mosey. Are Mosey is pretty cool too, <laughs> and just like I know, jacked. Yeah, I have like Mosey. Um, 
man, I can't remember what it was, mm-hmm. but I don't want to say too much because I I don't know who's in. Your I still have some rumors to finish, and I'm going to be finishing up almost everything on Monday. Dana and Gok, that might be them. Yeah, Dana and something, but they just they usually sit at a table together. Yeah, and like when you talk, they both and they they do like yeah the one alien and stuff. And, yeah yeah okay yeah the mm-hmm. the stories you get from them and stuff when they you come back stuff. I think is interesting too. Mm-hmm. Um, but special shout out to the one prospector that blew out his eardrums. <laughs> I love that guy. I don't remember that. Did you catch that one? I don't remember that. <laughs> it's uh, the dude from Critical Role, and he, he's like, "Yeah, I uh, found one of those mines uh, out there uh, that way. Uh, you should go check it out." <laughs> but he's blown his eardrums. Sounds like Sam Regal. It's Sam Regal. Yeah, yeah. That's but I funny. really like that too. Um, oh, that's a good point too. Uh, I I didn't watch. I need to watch your reaction to uh, Rick. And you, you should check out mine too, probably. I don't I know. Will. I will. I'd be interested. Like, I want to. I, w- I loved it so much because the music's like, Rosie, Rosie. And then I just picked him up the first him on, over the edge and it goes, Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to see what happened with yours because mine was kind of uh, in a similar state. Yeah. Stand. Like, I was just like standing there and waiting. I'm like, okay, what's going to happen? What's yeah. this guy doing? And he took a swing at me and I went, Hoo! and I dodged. <laughs> and then, like, I, he was on the other side of me. Yeah. Then, and I was just like, that's one of the most <laughs> ridiculous things I've ever seen a game developer put in a game like that. Yeah, like this con- treated it completely as a just a complete joke because like it has that really long corridor and you can just see him yeah. like down there, and I'm like, is that just a scout trooper? Like, you, okay, it, I bet you there are two scout troopers hiding and they're sure. gonna pop out and try to get me. Yeah. So I'm like slowly walking up, you know, waiting, and then it's just Rick, the door technician. I'm like, huh? <laughs> and he's like, ah! Oh! I just went. Um. <laughs> that's all that happened. No, it's it's a really funny. And moment apparently, and yeah, I saw this. He's voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> that's great. I didn't edition. know that then. Yeah. Oh man, there's so much. There's so much more to talk about this game. Yeah, there is. Yeah. We, could, we could probably do a podcast just on I Jedi in the future yeah. at some point. But uh, I, I did talk about maybe we'll do it. But I was like, it'd be cool to have like a maybe a video we do that compares like our either reactions yeah, or fights or be cool. different elements mm-hmm. like in either one video or some kind of highlight for yeah. it or something like that so maybe we'll have that worked on in the future or yeah. something but uh the only like things that i would want to change for the next game is like personally i didn't like being limited to two stances oh yeah like i don't really understand why we don't have what well, just let's have all five stances um i i feel like it's uh if i mean if you play Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order are kind of Dark Souls like, yeah, sure. right? Um, in those games, you pick like weapons to carry. Yeah. Um, and I felt like that was the idea of these. Like you choose these weapons to take with you. I get you. Um, but so like I'll- you can only carry so much in those games. I feel like it's just that way of kind of limiting it to. Okay, like, so it's just a gameplay choice. I mean, that doesn't necessarily translate because everything I need for everything else is already on me. Like what? <laughs> you know, like Cal always has his blaster. And his lightsaber always can turn to two, and it can go into a double, and it can have the prongs come out. Like, there's nothing that he isn't already carrying at all times. Sure. So I personally was like, just let me do all five. I guess so. We'll because hop- what, it, what ended up happening for me, and I will do a replay, but what ended up happening for me is, like, I would get in situations where I'm like, dang it, I need my double blade lightsaber. I'm the best at it, you know? So I would just wouldn't experiment with some of the others. Oh, so okay. I need, when I replay, I'm going to do, like, just cross guard and blaster stance. Oh, you know, I like used the blaster stance, but I loved it because of the range. Yeah. And there's a really cool like uh, parry, I suppose it is. OK. With the blaster where he's kind of like, yeah, and you just nah, like, yeah. blast him and stuff. I loved all the blaster um, stuff. I just I didn't love the the one handed style, like ra- rapier style mm. uh, while using it. I typically for me fought with the dual wielding mm-hmm. because I just love the mechanics of it so much more. Yeah. Um, And then use, that's the one I play with the least, I think. Use the blaster stance because that was like this is like my range a little yeah. bit more. I use that for range and kind of keeping them at bay. And then when I get mm-hmm. in there, I pull out both blades. Sure. No, dual wielding just for me, <laughs> it's a really dumb reason, but it just was too apparent that Cal was holding his lightsaber was too low. <laughs> Eh. <laughs> that damn commercial with Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill taught him to hold it too low. I mean, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one. That's true. Two, uh, either blame his master or the fact that his master died when he was like seven <laughs> and didn't get to teach I him guess. enough. <laughs> well, his master had a double blade lightsaber, right? Jar to Paul. Yeah, so that's why you use that one so much, yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, I just, Dude. I, I personally like. 
I put so much uh, emphasis on like silhouettes, so, be- so that's why I went poncho, double blade, lightsaber a lot of the times because that's kind of what I think of when I think of Cal. Oh, I like so many of the other clothing options. I so use much a lot more. of them too, like, but, so much. Yeah, uh, no, I, might, I, I, might I, I wish the game was a little more optimized for the poncho. There was a couple of times in the cutscenes where like it's like going through hands and clipping out, and I was yeah. like, ah, that sucks. Yeah, but, no, I didn't use the poncho. Mm-hmm. I got it after fighting a boss, I think it was, yeah. and I was like. This was not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You were probably the other way. Like, yes. <laughs> um, did you end up, I, I like the uh, customization for the saber and stuff. Yeah. But did you end up doing much with your blaster then because of not, uh, really, no, I not really using it? Uh, I mean, at a certain point, I stopped using it, so I stopped customizing it. But when I was using it, I tried to make sure it looked nice. Gotcha. It looked like something that I would use or I thought Cal would use. Um, I certainly... I meant to do it after Seer passed. Like I was going to incorporate her lightsaber a little mm. more into the design, so that I could have like both of my masters sure. and a little bit of Cal in there. Especially if you're using double bladed. Absolutely, yeah. Or dual wielding. Yeah, yeah, true. But I never really got that far. Gotcha. So, and then there was that fantastic moment at the end where Seer's lightsaber like falls. So, yeah, yeah. No, some really good stuff and. uh uh, what's a question here? Aaron, how do you feel about Eric one-shotting the Rancor you loved? Uh, well, uh, he should play on a harder difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, I have nothing to prove. <clears throat> so, I think it's, uh, I, I think the Rancor is a, uh, I think the Rancor was a tough fight, and I think the Ogda was a tough fight, too, but, like, I definitely wanted to, like, usually I play these games a lot being, like, I want the story, but also, like, I know I want a little more challenge yeah. than, like, some of the easier ones. Like, there's a story mode. Sure. But for me, I probably won't ever play story mode just because, yeah. like, I want it to be a little difficult. Mm-hmm. I might play story mode if we go through the game together like we did Fallen Order. Yeah. And that way we can, like, because the one thing that was more fun than that that I didn't get to do, I mean, I did it, I'm sure, but, like, spending a lot more time looking at the environment. Yeah, And, definitely. like, there was a, um, there's a senator in the very beginning, and you go on a ship. The power <clears> one, yeah. And, uh when you're looking at all his artifacts that are in there, there's a point when uh, w- the sword that we saw in Fallen Order, which mm-hmm. you probably wouldn't remember this, but there's like a pedestal in Fallen Order on uh, Dathomir that has like this kind of, uh, I don't know, it's like a almost ritual looking thing. There's like okay. this, this blade and there's like a book, I think, and a pedestal. That same blade is on his ship. On his ship. And I was like, oh, okay. that's that from Dathomir. That's, I mean, it might yeah. not be the exact same sure. blade per se, but it's like that style. Yeah, he had blade. some Zepho stuff yeah. in his hallway, and there was it looked like almost like a Grievous skull thing. Yeah, but like uh, when we went through and we're like, man, look at all these clone yeah. trooper helmets or these yeah. you know, bla- uh, battle droids Did you see Anakin's speeder on Coruscant? Yeah. <laughs> that was the awesome. Yellow speeder? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, it'd be cool to go through and play, and maybe there's Easter eggs that we missed that we didn't get to see oh, before. Oh, I'm sure there's a bunch, something. and maybe I'll see some of them on Monday. Yeah. Did yeah. you... Have you seen any, what are they called? Have you seen any Easter eggs about like Mogu? Are they like the Wampa things? The Wampas? Yeah. Yeah. Have any you seen Easter any, eggs any about Easter them? eggs involving um, uh, Mogus? I, I mean, other than just cutting off their arms. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe I have. I've forgotten, but I don't think I mean, so. maybe you'll finish when you do like rumors maybe and all that stuff I will. on Monday and whatnot. On but Monday. There's a, there's a couple things. I think it was like chat, like, hey, make sure you do this stuff. Okay. So that's gotcha. why I'm like, make sure you do some side things and stuff. Cause there's some yeah. fun stuff that you can find and do and see. Yeah. No, I kind of plan to this weekend, uh, just go around and maybe collect some of the like smaller, like scrolls and like, like shards of rock and stuff. Just, you know, cause sure. I have those on my map now. And then on Monday I'm going to do rumors and, uh, some of like the bigger chests and stuff like that, but primarily Kobo. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone said, did you guys see the, did you get the Rancor Easter egg? The Rancor Easter egg? Yeah. Uh, are you talking about the bone? I imagine that's what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, thought- as soon as I saw, cause I saw the bone and then the Rancor came out. And when I saw the bone, I was thinking Rancor. Mm. So as soon as it came out and then uh, had and like- actually that was the second Rancor maybe, I don't know. But as soon as it came out, I picked up that bone and I threw it in its mouth and it, <laughs> oh, that was your second Rancor thing? I think it might have That been, was my yeah. first one. Was that your but first one? But it was one? also, like, earlier on in the game for me. Yeah. No, I missed that one when I was getting to the village. Yeah. So I met the second Rancor first, and then I was sweeping through Kobo and met the first one. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. But no, like, there's, like, that little blue outline for the bone. I'm like, wait. Yeah. Well, how, what do I do? Yeah. How do I do this? Like, I got to do this. Yeah, and, that was cool. Uh, that was so cool. Yeah. I loved it. Great. Great, great. 
Great, great. But we'll have to talk about more. Maybe, like I said, maybe we can do a stream sometime in the future, play yep. through it together, just talk about what's going on while we do it. Absolutely. It was fun, and I look forward to that. And I yeah. look forward to the next game. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure.